Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm going to show you how to build this scene using the big, medium, small collection packs, Post Apocalypse and Mech Squad. And this was a really cool scene. I had a lot of fun building it. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a landscape and I'm going to the landscape setup and I'm going to change the landscape to large terrain. The terrain is very choppy here, so I'm going to scale it down on the Z so it's not so choppy. Uh, scale it down a little bit more. That looks good. And I'm going to add a new material to it, which I built earlier. Um, I'm going to use Node Wrangler and I'm going to drive to this wet mud that I built in Quixel. And I'm going to add that in. Uh, okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to UV unwrap. Okay, very well. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set the scale to this a little bit differently. And let's take a look and see what I got. Okay, so actually that's one big patch of mud. So I need like a field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go back and change the settings on these. And yeah, there we go. That's much better. Um, that looks like some pretty cool mud with some water in it, scale it up a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so moving on, next thing I'm gonna do is gonna add some of the post apocalypse. I'm gonna use some of the buildings in here. Um, I'm gonna add a structure and I'm gonna, uh, let me see, I'm gonna adjust the structure here once the, uh, yeah, once the texture loads up. I'm gonna move this back here. That looks good. Go to my front view, I'm gonna add a camera I'm going to go to my camera to view and I'm going to work on somewhat of a composition here just to get me started with the layout so far. And that looks pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more buildings from the post apocalypse collection. And this is a really cool collection for some really messed up stuff. <laughs> it's all damaged and everything. So. Let me just place these pieces in here. And just move them around. And that looks good. Now I'm going to dupe some of this mud so I have a field of it. And make copies of that on the left and the right side. There we go. That's looking good. Uh, now at this point... <clears throat> Let me see, I'm probably gonna add, let's see, add some stuff to it here. Throw that in the background, there you go. Uh, let's see what else we have, a tire. We'll drop that in the front somewhere. Uh, so I'm just adding things left and right in here and just making a little bit of a scene. I'm gonna add some, some rock and dirt into the mud. Give it a little mixture. Some of that dilapidated building. So basically I'm using the K-Pack to just drag and drop these right in. As you can see, size them up. Everything's pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm going to drop some vehicles in here and stick them in the mud as well. <laughs> just flip that to the side a little bit. So I'm going to go to my camera and set the focal length to 30 maybe 40 and then uh, uh, just do some more tweaking, adjust some more things and, and, and get your get your scene built a little bit better. Throw some things around, fill the area more. Um, let me see, I'll probably put, uh, let me see here. Um, let's put a, yeah, let's put like a mech bot in here. That looks pretty cool. <clears throat> Get this sized up properly, move it into the scene. Looking good so far, not so bad. Now I'm gonna add some more dilapidated cars. There's some more structural damage around it. Yeah, this looks good. I like this, this looks real good. Very simple to do, this is all real time. <laughs> Just working fast and dropping these things in, it's not a 
It's not a lot of work. It's just uh, creativity. How fast you can come up with it. Change it around. And it looks pretty good. So I'm starting to look pretty good here. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll put the tractor in there somewhere all the way in the back. <laughs> yeah, not bad. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I'll drop in a, a guard here. And I'm just moving back here a little bit. Kind of have them twisted around. And we'll probably drop in the female. Let's see, we'll take the this pose here, drop her in here. The female pilot of this this bot rig. And we're gonna set it up like the uh, the officers out if she's got you know asking if she's got permits to be doing this. <laughs> but uh, place her a little bit above the mud. Yeah, this is, this is looking pretty good. Just uh, adjust this a little bit. That looks good to me. I just want it sticking in the seam a little bit. I'm gonna lower it probably. Yeah, there you go. That looks better, so I can see the other cars in the background. And let me bring in the, <clears throat> I'm going to bring in this big generator. This is from the Mech Squad pack. I'm using this as like the generator to charge the, the bot over there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this file real quick. So I don't lose what I'm doing. Um, let's see what we got here. I'm going to add some cube. Largest cube up. This is going to give me my my fog. It's going to be my fog box. Basically, I'm covering the entire scene with this box. Then I go to viewport, change it in the wire. <clears throat> I'm going to make a new material. Hold on a second. Make this the fog box. Take this material and delete it and add a shader volume scatter and I'm going to plug that in I'm going to make it I don't know I'm going to test this for now see what it looks like and I'm going to see the box now you can see the box um, I'm going to drag some lights in here and set up the lights in the fog there we go I'm going to set a couple of them and make sure they got to be in the fog box in order for it, see how it's in the fog box, so it's good. Bring them down just out of the out of the viewport of the picture. <clears throat> More light set up just in the front here. So I'm not using a lot of lighting. I just want to do some illuminating actually and let the fog do all the Basically, you know, spread the light around. So I do have, what, one, two, three, like five. This, I want to get the box in the camera. So the fog's in the camera with the box. I'll raise these up. <clears throat> so they're not so much in the camera view. And I'm going to, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to add... I'm sorry, I'm going to save. And then I'm going to add a sky from Pro Skies, which will be in the description of the video. I'm just going to set the values here. Whatever you want to set them to, you can just play around. Let's turn the fog on. in the preview mode. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now I can start adding some more lights with it on. As you can see, I'm going to just start adding lights in the scene, adjusting light colors, and moving them around in with the fog. So I'm just adding more light, putting it in the machine, putting a light in the cockpit, Make it real nice and bright, blowing out crazy. Put a little light behind it. Let's do a test render. See what it looks like. That's looking pretty good. 
So far, I'm liking that. Okay, the next thing we can do here is probably what I would want to do now is let's make some adjustments to these lights, add a little bit more light here. Yeah, that's lighting up the generator more. I like that. Um, while we have it, I'll drop another light over here. I'm going to put this one out of sight. Where'd that light go? <laughs> um, hold on a minute. I just had that light. Where'd it go? Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let me bring it back in. Okay, here we go. Now, I just want it out of sight, but I want it to be put some shine on. Why don't you see? Let me bump this up a little bit. There you go. Uh, change color. Perfect. That looks great. Hey, you mess around. Match the sky, the blue. And let me see. I'm going to take this area light and these area lights. And we want to go with maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, this kind of blue. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to here and uh, paste these in. And uh, that looks much better. I like it. And right now we're set up for cycles. And I'm not liking the way that the cycles are setting. Let me get him out of the mud. And tilt him so he's not directly in the mud. And he's hanging out. So that's good. Um, so he looks fine. Everything looks fine over here. Okay, last but not least... Let's go to our settings and I'm actually happy with these. We're going to do optics and my color management. Uh, yep, everything's fine. Pretty good. Go that once more. So we're going to render in cycles. But what I did is at the last second, I switched it to EV because the cycles didn't render too nice. Now this is an EV render and this rendered much, much nicer. So I hope this video helped you guys out and I hope it works with the kit ops and the kits that I'm showing you. It's really cool stuff, man. And after a little bit of editing and some contrast, color grading, there's your final image. Guys, thanks for watching. I love all your support. Stay tuned. I'll see you around. Take care.